Well, this will be fun and exciting. Another brand new update in Grounded, where I'm gonna make my computer cry while making millions and millions of dollars. So you guys know the drill. We have our stupid shovel. We've got our big bucket. We throw the bucket on the ground. We take the shovel. We hit the dirt. We put the dirt in the bucket. We take the bucket. We run over to the water. We throw the water bucket in the thingy, and then we press the button there, and money pops out. Hopefully. Did money pop out? No, there's no money in there. There it is. Yay, one little teeny tiny gold nugget. That's worth an astounding $8. We're gonna be rich. Actually, you know what I should do? Just yeet that in the gold mine. There you go. Wait, give me a boot. Now I can take the boot and sell the... No, I can't. Well, I just have an $8 boot that I'll just selectively throw into the water. Yeah. Good job, little boot. Also, there's like NPCs running around and all sorts of other interesting things here. This guy also wants soup. I'm not gonna make you soup, my dude. What I am gonna do is cheat the system by taking dirt here, throwing it in the water like that, and then I can pick up half of it. I said I can pick up half of it and then throw it in there, and then we can duplicate. We use the brush to brush the water, we get more money, we pick up more dirt, we throw it in the hole, and uh, we just keep doing this over and over and over again. Now, after about five minutes, we have $246, which is fine with me. I'm not gonna throw that in the mine thing. I'm gonna throw it in here instead. And then we can buy fun things like a small furnace, a crucible, a casting mold, anvil, and probably a blacksmithing hammer. If I can, uh, I can't afford it. But I I just barely have enough money to buy this fun stuff. So I'll load all of the junk into my trunk and get to work duplicating dirt to make even more money. Three hours later. I think this might be enough. Please, just be enough. Okay, that's kind of a lot of gold. So we'll take this and we'll dump it out here on the ground. Ooh, that's a good amount. And we'll take this thing, move that, and then I'll go onto this side so I can start putting all of the gold nuggets in. Hopefully the gold melts and we create a bar. Actually, that's what I should do. I should melt the gold first, so if I accidentally put steel in, it doesn't make any difference. Please melt the little gold nuggy nuggies. There we go, sounds like the toilet got flushed. That's how you know it's ready. Perfect, okay, we're gonna keep dumping these in. And we're gonna melt all of that down now. As soon as we do that, we'll make an ingot and then go sell that back to the jeweler for big stonks, if it ever decides to melt. Are you gonna melt yet? Please melt. Can you melt now? There it goes. All right, pick that up, dump it into the hole. That's a teeny tiny bar, but I should have some iron. Would you not do that? I'm trying to make a video here. Sit, play dead, lay down, and then dump. Good. All right, stonk market. Oh, this is the fish market. That's not, I can't sell dumb. So I'll take my teeny tiny gold bar and make 763 money. That's perfect. Now I can buy more things like the little blacksmithing hammer. We can also take that little iron bar, shove it into here, and then a bink. Oh, come on. Do you have to put it directly into the hole? I just, I don't want to do that. Does that work better, game? Is that what you want? Hey, we made a dagger, which we should be able to sell to the dagger store for $300, nice. So with those two chunks of money combined, we have a grand total of 976 money, which should allow us to buy both an iron drill and uh, one of these iron harvesters. I hope, please, yes. And we'll throw them in the junk in the trunk and head over here to buy some water pipes. Because, I mean, the game's hygienic, right? So we have to have some water. We need to uh, split it, I believe. I don't know how many of these I need. All right, so the objective is that this is the harvester breaks the dirt chunks into resources. And if we break those into resources, we have to have the resources from somewhere else, which is going to be this little fella right here. Now, I know there's no dirt below it, but that's fine. We'll get it very shortly. I just need to put some water in. Strategically run over a man that's just walking. Whoa! <laughs> buy three more pipes because I didn't grab things properly. Also, I really want that, but I can't afford it yet. I'm hoping I have enough money for all of these pipes though. Come on, $66, I've got 91, beautiful. I really don't know how I timed that properly, but we have just the right amount of money for everything we need to start making a lot more money. So make sure all of these pipes are properly connected. There's no filters on it, so our machines are gonna eventually break. Also, I need to grab my shovel. Where did you go, shovel? Shovel. Grab a little bit of dirt. We'll take the dirt, we'll throw it about right here. Then I'll crank it on. <laughs> and it immediately starts breaking up that dirt and putting it inside of the harvester. Yes, it's working. Just need to properly position my bucket and free money. And now that I've done a whole bunch of other things away from the computer and hoping that's enough money, let's seed this first with one chunk of gold. We'll put the gold in here to melt it. And then we're gonna cheat the system by getting rid of all of the iron. As soon as that one gold nugget 
melts. I'm gonna dump this whole bucket in. I hope I'm gonna hit. Okay, maybe I'll put it on the ground first because it seems like it's not working right now. Please melt, little gold nuggy. Please melt. Why are you not melting? Do I have to pick you up and drop you in again? Oh, well, that was easy. All right, maybe I need to do the same thing to this. Hopefully it doesn't spray everywhere like it usually does, but yeet. I mean, that was pretty good. Oh, wow, I missed a ton. So we'll try that again. Hey, that worked better, mostly. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I just put that stupid thing underground. Should you not do this to me? Not gonna lie, that might actually make it easier. Or it might not be working at all. Yeah, it's not even melting. So I guess we'll just pour that in and what happens to the rest of it? I have no idea. Okay, so gold bar back to the shop where hopefully it's worth significantly more money than the last one. Ooh, 2,400. Oh, nice. Our first gem actually popped up. There's three of them in there. I see a red one and two greens. So we're gonna leave this thing down here to collect a bunch more money and I'm gonna take my new money over to the new area. Cause room around the street is there's a new vehicle that will mine tier three dirt. And I have no idea how expensive it is, but I totally want to find out. Ooh, look at these fun things. Look at that, a new hydro quad. What is this thing too? The hydro roller, slow moving utility wheel for flattening ground. I don't really care about flattening ground. I want the new machine. I also want to check out this area if there's anything new. I don't really see anything. Let's look at the map though. Is Drek Quarry something new? I don't know, is South Hope? I feel like there was only one quarry in that area. Turns out there's a whole other city over here or not really a city. What's this thing have? Stock, it just, oh, rings and necklaces, cool. But there's a couple other vehicles over here which look kind of fun. This thing takes, oh, that's the tokens for the new quest chain. Gross. But it tunnels holes. Use rotation keys to change the digging angle. We can make lots of money with that. Also, there's this thing, Hydro Prospector. Prospecting ground for ore veins. I didn't realize that there were ore veins in this game, but I mean, it has blueprints, which are kind of cool. I'm also thinking this is some sort of like mansion, like shop over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a logic saw hook. That's a big words for me. Hook straight in the conveyor belt, cuts resources down to desired size. Ooh, that's cool. And we have, ooh, tier three elbow pipes and stuff. Vertical weapon rack. Okay, wow, those take the, the tokens too. And then the rake, the pickaxe, and the, ooh, a tier three shovel. Interesting. Gotta dig down deep into the ground. Thankfully, my favorite digging devices are still relatively cheap. Only $26,000 per mini nuke. So if I skirt skirt my way over to this mine, I'm hoping I can buy this. No, it's 6,000 money and I only have 2,000, which I, means I'm gonna have to take a trip down into the mines to go see my friends. And by friends, just the giant anvil. Oh, there are people down here. Hello, sir. Don't fall off and die in the lava. But I am gonna need the tier two stuff here. So yeah, these aren't really that expensive. So for the uh, Claudium drill is 1300. Then we have the harvester is 900. And then the intake booster. Yeah, we only need to buy these two. And maybe we should buy the iron stuff first because I literally don't have Claudium yet. So if I buy the iron things for $306, I can take these one at a time through the giant forge and I'll be able to craft it if I have enough iron. Thankfully, this thing's been working for a substantial amount of time. Thankfully, this thing's been working for a substantial amount of time. There's not gonna be a terrible a lot of money in it, but maybe enough to buy a couple things. Oh, okay, so the bucket is kind of laggy, which is good. Oh yeah, there's a lot there. Now I just need to manually sort this. So a little bit, oh, there's still money in there. Okay, we'll put you down. I went and got one bucket done. And now let's separate out the iron here, like so. That was pretty good. I'll take that. And now I did buy a separator, which is gonna be kind of annoying because then I have to put everything back in the bucket. But I mean, let's be honest, this big giant pile of goo right here, it's kind of annoying. And if I remember right, we put down a piece of gold like that, then we pick this up and if we drop it here, it shoves out all the gold one way and everything else the other way, which means we have to pick all of the gold back up, dump it into the hot spicy thing again. Ooh, that actually made it. Woo! We're gonna make this thing nice and toasty warm too, so I can make myself a ring. Cause I also bought a grind wheel. If we slapped out there, find a nice shiny rock with shiny sparkly things in it, click the button. We have a little emerald. Oh, it takes two. Okay, let's do this one too. All right, I think that's what it means. Maybe that's step two, whatever. I'm not a scientist. Let's quickly put that down in the hole. While it's still warm, grab my blacksmith hammer and doink. 
Neat, we have a little teeny tiny ring. Okay, so I bought, oh my goodness, bought another two buckets and another leggy mess. Hopefully this doesn't spray stuff everywhere. Oh, what there. That's the hydroneer we all love. Oh, and you're kidding. You're kidding me right now. I didn't make a single one in any of the buckets. Oh, that's stupid. Please have the magnet tool. Please have the magnet tool. Please have the magnet tool. It's not here, is it now? Hopefully I have enough speed to eat myself over the cliff. Aw, do you remember when hydroneer trucks were fun to drive? I mean, this isn't so bad. <laughs> what do you do? Okay, yep, and then fly into orbit. Or not, that's cool too. All right, so grab that money, $550 reduce into here, and please have a magnet stick for me. Yes, 428? Wow, that's expensive. Doesn't the game know that I'm really trying to save money to buy up like four nukes? Thankfully, this is significantly easier. We can just drop all the junk into the trunk. Nope. <sighs> kind of messed it up. My goodness, I really need to automate things. All right, gently dump the junk in the trunk again. There we go, in the hole. Really? Aha, uh -huh, that's how I like my gold floating in the air. After a little bit of time, I finally got that taken care of. Now we can do the same with the iron again. Would you not, game? I'm starting to get mad at you now. Do you understand this? Might have to uninstall you again. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that right now. Yet, anyway. Let's see how this works. Oh, balls, that's a huge clump of gooey goodness. Ta-da! All right. It yeeted, and I... Totally hit my microphone, sorry. Grab this junk, ah, throw it, I don't even care at this point. Tip that into here. Oh yeah, that did totally nothing. Just do your best game, do your best to get as much iron that way as possible. And it, maybe it'll, does it work? Okay, it's just kind of vibrating, ah. And then grab it all. No, that's not, that's not what I wanted you to do. And separate. All right, cool. I think that's a pretty good amount. All right, so I cleaned up the junk in the trunk and made two rings, 9,150, and I think this one's probably less, maybe. Oh yeah, that's only a thousand. Okay, cool, so we have 10,000 money, which is 126 of the way to buying a new. But I think the more important thing is that I have a nice block of iron and I can run down here to the giant anvil and start making myself a couple more mining things. It's been like two hours and I'm finally starting to get where I need to go. Good, that works. Okay, and then if I yeet, that should pour it into here and then the big thing comes down, presses it, and we have a new grinder. Beautiful. I really don't know how much iron this is, so I'm hoping we have enough because we need to switch that out and I wanna make like four of these. I don't really wanna make a huge thing like I've done in the past because that just gets annoying and super laggy, but let's see how many of these we can make. Okay, that's one, beautiful, boop. And we'll do another one. Oh, balls, I gotta grab it. Please have enough iron, please have enough iron, please have enough iron, please have enough iron, it's working. Okay, that's two. Oh, you're kidding me right meow. I guess two it is. And we'll just throw them right in here so they teleport upstairs, or I can gently place them into the back of my truck. And with the $10,000 we have, we should be able to buy this claim and I can start making bigger machines. So after approximately another three hours worth of work, I've built something else stupid up. I like it because it's making me lots and lots of, oh balls, lots of money I was gonna say. Come here, I need you. I'm gonna throw you back in. Every once in a while, I just recycle all this to make sure that we're not gonna get leggy and breaky the gamey again -y. And I'll be entirely honest, I totally have forgotten how to get from the tier one mining equipment to the tier two. So I dug this really cool shaft all the way down here to the tier two stuff. And I figured I'd just kind of drop some of the nuggets directly on the path and hopefully it'll go up and make some more money. Actually, that's not gonna work, is it? Because if those go up, then they're gonna go all the way up and this is only a tier one harvester. So let's bring the giant bar of goodness. I was gonna say all the way back to the store, but we don't need any more tier one mines. We need tier two. And I have no Claudium and this thing is just grinding up the bad little chunky chunks that got stuck in it. So let's take the gold instead. And we'll turn these bars into something fun. Okay, you go there, go clickety clack. Oh, come on, give me that, give me that. And pink, come on game. Why does it have to be perfectly laid in there? 
That's stupid. I just want to go boop, and now it's not hot anymore. So I guess we'll warm that up. We'll take the gold nugget. We'll drop you in here like such as. Then we'll grab you, drop you in here like such as, and go punk. A baby ring was made, but this one should be worth significantly more money. I'm really hoping that this large chunk of money will help us buy some nukes. So we'll just drift our way. Nope, we're not drifting. Yo, come back here, truck. Don't hit that. Okay, give me the ring. Give me the ring. Nobody gets hurt. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, 59,000. That's enough to actually buy two nukes. Oh, oh my. What kind of a lucky day do we have here? Excuse me, sir, coming through. Whoa. <laughs> Just yeeted him into space. All right, and then uh, there's beautiful little nuky boys right over here. Hello, nuke number A. A nice, cool 26,000. I was also going to buy that, but I don't need that right now, so I'll just pretend to steal it, and the game will just forget it exists. And it's going to work great for underground farms. Did you really say that? How did you know? Okay, give me a button. Where's the button? I need two of them. Buttons? Hello? Where are the? Are you a button? Can I have a button? One button, please. Logic button. I need two of them. Two logic buttons, please. 52,168 money. Oh, yeah. And 59,000, perfect. And click the button, good. So what I was really hoping to do is get down to the tier three soil today, because that's the brand new stuff in the game. And I think nukes have the capability of mining faster than my pickaxe does. I'm gonna take the scenic route back to the lodge today. Oh my, God. maybe not, you know what? Yes, it worked. Okay, so we're gonna take this thing way down in the tunnels down here, and I'm gonna dig myself a little bit of a tunnel further on this way. I don't really want to nuke all of the hard work. I just took three hours building, so we're going to go this way just a little. I really hope I don't make a mess of everything, but I probably will. So let's grab this. We have to make sure it's in the right orientation. Okay, and we're going to just try to shove this as far forward as possible, like that. And then I'll teleport out where we can grab the splody button. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this. I have a bad feeling things bad are about to happen. That's okay. I'm an expert in doing things poorly. It's about the only thing I'm good at. All right, button one, two, three, press it. No, okay, we nuked the world again. That's fine as long as it didn't blow up everything else. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's teleport out of here. Good. We just have a slight <laughs> mushroom cloud above the surface. I'm cool with that. The truck's still here, so it's only getting radioactively deteriorated. I don't know. I'm just making words up. Okay, I'm inside the mushroom cloud. Everything looks good. The other nuke hasn't exploded, so that's even better. And my tunnel is... Yes! That was perfect! Ha ding! Okay, cool. So I can do that right over here. Do the same exact thing. Well, we'll grab the second button on our way back, and hopefully this works out pretty well. Using nukes for mining purposes. Alright, cool. Let's make sure we have this in the right way. Turn that around, put that down, press the button again, and yes! Oh my word, look at all of the gems. <laughs> I never bought the gem mining stuff because it was a little expensive, so I'll just bounce my way back down. I'll need to uh, get in here, but I'm wondering if we got to the tier three dirt. A little bit hard to see. Is this tier three dirt down here? Can uh, that be harvested? I guess I'm just gonna grab one of these torches and go explore. Into the hole! Okay, so either nukes can go through tier three rock or I'm at the bottom of it because this does look a little different. There is one way to tell. If I grab the tier two pickaxe and jump in the hole, if I can find it. So I can mine this stuff with the tier three pickaxe. Can I mine this stuff right here with it? Okay, so that's tier three. And then down here is just bedrock that is unminable. Yeah, it won't even let me click it. Interesting. Interesting indeed, but that still brings up another problem of why can't I mine Claudium yet? I have not gotten a single piece of it. Maybe it's just not on the surface. So I did want to try one more thing out. I went ahead and piped this up, created a few more of these stupid things. I still haven't purchased a plug for the end of that, but that's okay because I can do this. Also, I started mining down in there with some extra things I have, just so we can start working on tier three. But if I turn this back over because it was bothering me, yeah, yeah, I need to get the build hammer to make it stay. And then we turn these on, these little chunky nuggets that come out of here. Please work, why are you not working? Because it doesn't have the right dirt, of course not. Game, why do you do this to me? I thought tier one would work in tier three. <laughs> oh, this sucks. 
Like, I'm right on the line. I think the line is literally that. So if I bring these up one or two, it should work. So good news. Good news, everyone. I have been successfully building something in here. Oh, one of them worked. I saw one of them go bonk. Okay, now another one do it. Oh, the middle one works. Okay, why aren't the other ones bonking? They have water. Maybe they have too much dirt. Oh, it worked. Okay, I didn't realize it could get clogged up. Or maybe I did. I haven't played this game in a couple months. Also, why does that not have water to it? Are you kidding me, game? Why have you done this to me? Do I just need to uh, slap that in? Or maybe I need to pick it up. Uh-oh. It's the problem with Hygieneer. You make this really unique, cool structure, and the game's like, ha-ha, you suck. Like, honestly. Oh, there's there, there's two of these there? Is that what's happening? All right, why does that one not turn now? Okay, turn. Okay, it turns you. And then uh, where, did, where did the other, where did the, where did the thing go? Where did the other, the turny boy go? Stop it. Where's the turn thing at? Really game? How does that just disappear? Oh, there it is. It's hiding in the corner. All right, like that. Please. Oh yes, it's turning. Aha! Some of it fell on the ground. I don't really care. But these little nuggy nuggies are gonna come up to the surface and then they're gonna drop inside of the mining thing. Yes, it works. Cause they're still tier one. Okay, and they're a little bit bigger chunks than the last ones. Hopefully, one of these is gonna be Claudium. Hey, there's one. Ha ha, we have a Claudium nugget. Our first one of this save file. So, I guess that's a win, right? Oh, 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 yeah, oh, fall down. Give me that. And then we will directly drop that right here. Wow, the game was like, you already know what you wanna do with it. Oh, and another one's coming in, yes! It's working, I just need one of these now. So I'll buy one and set it in, and I did clear everything, so we should be ready to go. All the gems are cleared. I also did buy this thing, which is totally not the right thing. Compresses cut gemstones. I thought it would be the other way around. Anyway, my friends, that'll do it for today's video. We have tier three dirt to explore next time, and probably tier two as well. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and keep your nuke on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Auto Day, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Epius, Ninjor, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Sarnoff, Maxer, Ralph, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Sakarsmorex, Spencer T, Whiskey, Endless, Splatter Sax, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Corian, Brad, Dalton C, Sikander D, Grayson, Alvora, Monkey, Kyle V, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Kodino, Ah, and Fussy Badge 9.